Good morning, primary children. Ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay ang Doctrine and Covenants sections 20 to 22. Mga bata, may alam ba kayo kung paano na-organize ang The Church of Jesus Christ? Saan ito nangyari? Saan ito naganap? Sino-sino tumalo dito? Panoorin natin ito. Chapter 9, Organization of the Church of Jesus Christ, April 6, 1830. Joseph Smith was living in the town of Fayette in the state of New York. Jesus told Joseph it was time for his true church to be on earth again. He told Joseph to organize the church. On 6 April 1830, Joseph held a meeting to organize the church. Oliver Cowdery, Hiram Smith, Samuel Smith, David Whitmer, and Peter Whitmer came to help him. They had all been baptized. Other people also came to the meeting. The men prayed to Heavenly Father. Joseph ordained Oliver an elder in the church. Then Oliver ordained Joseph. Joseph and Oliver blessed the sacrament. They gave it to the men. Joseph and Oliver put their hands on each man's head to confirm him a member of the Church of Jesus Christ and give him the gift of the Holy Ghost. Joseph and Oliver ordained some of the other men to the priesthood. These men were very happy. They said they loved God and told how he had blessed them. Jesus gave a revelation to Joseph Smith at the meeting. Jesus said Joseph was a prophet. A true prophet speaks for Jesus. When a prophet speaks for Jesus, members of the church should listen to him and obey him. After the meeting, many people were baptized, including Joseph Smith's mother and father. What a wonderful day. The Church of Jesus Christ was on the earth again. Sa video na panood natin, nalaman natin na nag-meeting o nagpulong si Joseph Smith Oliver Cowdery at ilang kalalakihan upang ma-organize ang The Church of Jesus Christ o ang tinatawag na ngayong The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Ito ay naganap noong April 6, 1830 sa bahay ni Peter Whitmer Sr. Anim na kalalakihan na nabinyagan na ang dumalo dito. Sa pagpupulong na ito, Sila ay nagkasundo at nagbotohan na ma-organize ang simbahan. Ano-ano ang naganap sa event na ito? in nila si Joseph Smith at Oliver Cowdery bilang presiding officers ng church. Gayun din, si Joseph Smith at Jr. at Oliver Cowdery ay inordain as elders ng simbahan. Nagkaroon ng administration ng sacrament. Lahat ng nabinyagan na ay nakatanggap ng confirmation as members of the church by the laying on of hands or bestowing of the Holy Ghost. Si Joseph Smith was called as a prophet of God. At the end of the meeting, maraming nabinyagan at kasama na dito ang mga magulang ni Joseph Smith Jr. Lagi pati naririnig na sinasabi na napakapalad natin bilang membro ng simbahan. Bakit kaya? Mapalad tayo bilang member ng Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints because being a member prepares us to live with God again. Natatanda niyo pa ba yung kantang I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? When we were baptized, or nung nabinyagan tayo, we became official members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And sabi sa Doctrine and Covenants section 20, verse 37, And again, by way of commandment to the Church concerning the manner of baptism, all those who humble themselves before God and desire to be baptized and come forth with broken hearts and contrite spirits and witness before the church that they have truly repented of all their sins and are willing to take upon them the name of Jesus Christ, having a determination to serve Him to the end and truly manifest by their works that they have received of the Spirit 
of Christ unto the remission of their sins shall be received by baptism into His Church. Naalala niyo po ba nung nabaptize kayo? Stella? First question, Why did you choose to be baptized? Gusto ko po kasing mahugasan yung mga kasalanan ko at gusto ko din pong gayahin si Jesus Christ kasi po kahit wala po siyang nagagawang kasalanan, nagpabinig pa din po siya. Next, Stella, pwede ka bang magbigay ng testimony mo ng mga blessings na nareceive mo after your baptism and confirmation of the Holy Ghost? Lagi na po akong mabait at lagi ko pong iniintindi ang mga sinasabi ng mga nakakatanda sa akin. At sa temporal naman po, lagi pong tinitinig ni Lord yung mga prayer ko po. Isa pang prinsipyo ng simbahan natin ay ang sacrament. Bakit tayo nagpapartake ng sacrament tuwing linggo? Chantel? Tayo ay nagpapartake ng sacrament tuwing linggo para maalala natin ang hirap na dinanas ni Jesus Christ. At para maalala natin ang ating kasunduan kay Heavenly Father at Jesus Christ nang tayo ay bininyagan. At tuwing nagsasakrament ako sa church, ang feeling ko ay malungkot at masaya. Malungkot ako dahil naaalala ko si Jesus Christ na nahihirapan. At masaya naman ako dahil nakakapag-sacrament ako every Sunday. Pero ngayong COVID ay hindi muna. Sana ay mawala na ang COVID para makapag-sacrament ulit kami, mga primaries. Ngunit nag-sacrament din kami sa bahay. Pero iba sa church. Dahil iyon ay church. At iba naman sa bahay. Matutuwa ako kapag ma- nawala na ang COVID. Para makasimba na kami mga primaries. At makapagpartake ng sacrament sa church. And this I live in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Doctrine and Covenants, section 20, verse 77. O God, the Eternal Father, we ask thee in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify this bread to the souls of those who partake of it, that they may eat in remembrance of the body of thy Son, and witness unto thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they are willing to take upon them the name of thy Son, and always remember him, and keep his commandments, which he has given them, that they may always have his Spirit to be with them. Amen. Verse 79 O God, the Eternal Father, we ask thee in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify this wine to the souls of all those who drink of it, that they do it in remembrance of the blood of thy Son, which was shed for them, that they may witness unto thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they will always remember him, that they may have his Spirit to be with them. Amen. Children, may naalala ba kayong pagkakataon na kayo ay nangako o nagpromise? Pag nagpapartake tayo ng sacrament, nangangako tayo kay Jesus Christ, na lagi siyang aalalahanin at susundin ang kanyang mga commandments. How about you, Gab? Pwede mo bang share ang experience mo kung saan naalala mo si Jesus Christ at sinunod ang kanyang mga commandments? Paano ka na-bless dahil dito? Gab? Isa po sa natutunan ko sa simbahan ay ang mahalin o maging mabuti sa ating kapwa. Gusto ko po i-share yung naging experience ko po kung saan pinili ko po ang pag- magpapakita ng pagmamahal sa kapwa sa pamamagitan ng pagtulong sa aking kaibigan na inaksa. Lagi ko po siyang sinasamahan pag kumakain at pinagtatanggol po siya sa mga kaklase ng bully. 
Lagi ko, lagi ko pong sinusubukan mag-obey sa mga commandments ni Heavenly Father because I always remember Jesus Christ. Children, let me share with you that isa pang reason na napakapalad natin na maging membro ng simbahan na ito ay ang pagkakaroon ng buhay na propeta si President Russell M. Nelson. Bago pa man dumating ang pandemic na warning niya na tayo at naturuan kung paano mag-spend more time with our family to study the scriptures with our family. Kung paano mag-prepare para sa mga difficult times katulad na ito. Sabi nga sa Doctrine and Covenants section 21 verse 5, For His word ye shall receive as if from mine own mouth in all patience and faith. Pag sumusunod tayo sa commandments ni Heavenly Father, given to, through His living prophet, the blessings will come. He will protect us and save us from uh, difficult situations. I pray na kayong mga bata ay lalaking mabait and to keep our motto, to, choo- to always choose the right. And this is my prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.